I should have stated that these uh, happen every Tuesday and Thursday is when I'm planning on uploading all these. So, uh, happy Thursday. It's been two days, um, but it's been literally less than a minute my time. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't recording stuff ahead of time wonderful? Ah, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Yes. So, topics of conversation. Topics of not really, it's just sort of versation. There's no con, there's no, you're not involved in this conversation. I am though, and I'm having a fun time. All right, yo. I'm looking at the to the left of my screen. The uh, this place over to the off there is a preview of this, and it's got like slight lag and sort of like shutter. And it's got like a rolling shutter effect. Like when I do this, it like looks like jelly. Let's do that thing. There we go. We just ended the universe. You're welcome. That's the end of human civilization as we know it. Uh, that thing I just did. There you go. Common trope is that um, common thing talked about in this game uh, is that. Whoa, why is he a, if he's a theoretical physicist, then why is he just pushing stuff into stuff? This is like really intense and supposed to be a really serious moment. Um, but I'm just talking over it. What's here? Huh? Alright. This is supposed to be a really serious moment, but I'm just talking over it. I don't care. Um... No, I do care. This is a wonderful game. Like, seriously, a 9.5 out of 10. Yay, dudes. Oh, and then I disappeared for a moment. Unforeseen consequences? Oh no, there were unforeseen consequences. Let's escape. Yeah, whatever, man. Come on. Dude. Dude! Okay. This guy's trying CPR really poorly. Because, you know, he's he's flexing his, um, his, he's bending his, his elbows. Uh, which you're not supposed to do during CPR. He's been watching too much NCIS. I don't know. Do people, I've never seen... I don't watch... I've, I don't think I've seen, like, a single episode of NCIS all the way through. Um, nor have I consciously watched NCIS, NCIS. But the people I live with, aka my parents because I'm 17, uh, one of the persons I live with, my mother, I absolutely love it. So that is a consequence. Eh. But I assume they do CPR sometimes on the show. It's like a, you know, they, they got dead people and stuff. Hey, Eli! Come with me! Uh, dang it! I need people to be more careful with their ketchup. Seriously. I don't know Burger Day could be so gruesome. get to the Hello. Ed Krabs. What a wonderful enemy design. Very based on. Hey, come with me. Eli! No, d dude, just open the dang door. Holy heck! See, he puts his eyes straight up to the scanners. I don't know what that security guard was up to. This is the first part of the game where we can die. Yep. Huh. Ah! 
We lost a single HP, but I'm still gonna quick load because I'm a perfectionist. Hey! Oh no! What a jump scare! Ah! Ooh! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Oh God! My heart! My heart! My, my everything! Oh God! Oh God! Oh, I think I'm dying of a heart attack from that jump scare. It was kind of effective the first time I played through it. Hey, look at this. This is the second time you can die in this game. <laughs> You'll know. Something. First weapon! Yay! It super lingers for a really long time on that corpse there. Kind of weird. Kind of creepy. Also, you can swing this thing really quickly. Look at that. Really good technique this guy has. I want to prove something. You press this and people die. So you think, oh wow, a bit of player agency. You can choose to, uh, you know, follow the instructions in for, uh, and choose to follow the instructions or not in to, to determine, you know, how morally sound are you, you know. Because oh, following the instructions might save someone's life. But uh, if you just go through here, it happens anyway. This is a very linear game. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I hope you understand. There's nothing wrong with linearity. Okay? Nothing wrong. Um. But. No, there's nothing wrong with linearity. It loses replay. It makes you. Game lose replayability. Hey! Look at how freaking fast, like, dude, crowbar of steel. Man of crowbar. Man of crow steel. Bring it on. Ugh. Oh, I wasn't holding up this way. That's weird. Dude. Eh. Ugh. The, for some reason, they get much broader shoulders when they get turned into zombies, the scientists do, I mean. Is that? No, I guess they're about as broad as they are, but their heads have been completely eaten away, so they look relatively broader by comparison. You know, shorter things look fatter. Uh, uh because they're shorter, don't they? That's just uh, psychology, isn't it? Uh, psychology, what a wonderful world. Excuse me? Thank you. Um. Yes, if you go through here. Can you go through here? How do you go through here? Ah! I'm trying to figure out how to open this door, because you can go back through this door. You can't switch that back, that's weird. WHAT?! You can break monitors in this game! I actually didn't know you that, that you could do that. I actually didn't know you could do that. It's kind of hazardous, so let's, uh, load. Yeah, yeah, I know, saves coming and all that, whatever, man. I save whenever I want, dude. Because not that it actually sets back that much. Well, let's go in here. Ha! <laughs> what an idiot. What a doofus. Total doofus. Steady on game. <laughs> Total doof. Ah, help! No, I want to get in there and mess that up. Whatever, he's going to get eaten. This would be a great cover for, like, a... Uh, if you remove the crowbar, this would be a great cover for, like, a... something. Uh... I'm not sure what. Ugh. Sector B, cool and easy facility. No, cool and res facility, not easy. Not a cool and easy facility. It's not made for making coolants easier. Hey, look! Enemies! 
Are we supposed to have a pistol yet? I think we are supposed to have a pistol. That's a bit... Okay. These are really neat enemies. They're hound eyes. They, uh, they send out a shockwave. And also have really advanced AI. Like, really, like, actual, like, realistic AI. This game, when it came out, was all about the realism. This game was, like, the most realistic thing anyone had played, I assume. Um, up till that time. Because this was, like, this was, like, realism, dude. This was in the time of Quake, where things weren't realistic. But this was realistic, dude. Um, what was I talking about? Jesus. Lag. Is that a crash? No. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Okay. I'm not sure why there's so much lag. <gasps> Shoot. No. Um. I'll worry about it after this episode's over. Um. Hey, pops through there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Lag. So much lag. I was talking about something. Ah, yes. This was amazingly. Uh, realistic for 1998. If you don't count Rainbow Six as a game. Um, if you don't include Rainbow Six. Because Rainbow Six also came out in 1998, and that's like mo more realistic than most games that come out nowadays. You ever play Rainbow Six? I haven't played the first one, I've played number three, and it's really good. I recommend it. Um, there you go. No, never mind. We don't, that's not our first gun. I was mistaken? Um, how oh, you can move these barrels? You can't move those barrels. I feel like we're supposed to have a gun at this point, but um, whatever, man. Hey, look. Uh, hold on. Let's. All right, sorry about that. I was just a person. Um, this was uh, inspired by the by a panel and. An old manga thing. Akira. Shakira? No, that's, um... That's a pop singer. Um... Um... Yeah. This is a section that's really difficult if you don't know what to do. Basically, what you gotta do is just dodge him. First time I played through this, I was like, Oh, uh, I gotta shoot them all. Um, because I had a gun at this point. I don't- look, I haven't been paying much attention to the game. I've been mostly focusing on trying to be entertaining. Uh, yeah, this is really easy once you realize that you can- ah, dang it! No, no, I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that. I'm not- that's not something I'm gonna accept. <laughs> I'm- no, 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 no. You think you can do that to me? You think you can do that? And just let that slide. No. No, 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 no. No, no. The reason I mentioned 80s music in the last episode. <laughs> because I've been sort of... What? I've, I've been sort of on an 80s music binge. Oh, shoot, man. And that's why I mentioned that. But that was... That's neither here nor there. Uh, let's... Actually focus. Alright, come on. Yeah! Alright. Okay. <sighs> Quick save. Don't want to lose all that progress. Wow. Oh, there's another freaking thing down here anyway. Why was I even worrying? Oh! Let's worry about these guys. Kill them in two hits. Oh my god, there's a dude there! Why didn't I not even notice that guy? Excuse me? Oh, okay, you're on top of me. Get jibbed. Ha! Huh, okay. I said I like this game. I never said I was good at it. 
What do you think I am? Some sort of professional gamer? What? Yeah, what? <laughs> you think I, 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 I play games? Oh yeah, there's that thing down there. No, there's that thing down there! Ah, there's nothing of value in any of those crates anyway, is there? I don't know. I don't know if there's anything of value in here. Uh, I can't really focus. There we go. There we go. Let's go. First gun. I like Half-Life 1 better than Half-Life 2. And this is why. Um, I have enough time to explain it. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm trying to make these episodes 20 minutes long. So that's why they're 20 minutes long. Um... That was the first bull squid encounter. Really neat enemy. Uh, very bad first impression. Uh, I like Half-Life 1 better than Half-Life 2. And I know, that's the opposite of most people's average opinion on it. You may be wondering, why is that? Well, Half-Life 2 was much more, I guess, polished? No. Oh. It was... Uh, uh, no, Half-Life 2 wasn't more polished, I wouldn't say. I'd say they have about the same level of polish. I think Half-Life 1 has much better weapon and enemy design. Weapons and enemies in this game are much more creative. Don't get me wrong, the gravity gun is absolutely stupendous um, in Half-Life 2. But it's no match for... Well, okay, I'd say that. But it... That doesn't make up for the loss of all the weird, like, alien and experimental weapons. Because a lot of the weapons you get in this game end up being, like, super cool. Like the bee gun? The bee gun in this game is so good. It's so much fun to use. Um, I actually used it when I wasn't running out of ammo. Funnily enough. It does regenerate ammo, which is neat. Uh, neat little mechanic there. Um... So, people mostly use it when they're running out of ammo, but no, I found the homing ability pretty useful. It has a pretty decent DPS. Um, DPS, Jesus. Uh, first, I'm talking about DPS, might as well be talking about ludonarrative dissonance. Ugh. Ah! Yes, I love Half-Life. Um... Have I made that clear? I, I love Half-Life because I have the same taste in games as a, uh, as a nostalgic, uh, video essay maker, uh, who thinks the industry died in 2007. Um, uh, but that's okay because I'm not a nostalgic video essay maker who thinks the industry died in 2007. In fact, I'm none of those things. Um, excuse me? I heard, like, a weird noise. Sound like an enemy spawning. Let's get on this elevator. Upwards, apparently. It goes up. I always thought it went down. I never really paid attention to which button was lit up. Lit up? Lit up. Um. So, yes. Jumping light constantly. That's bad form. Look at those good boys get zapped up. I mean, bad boys get zapped up. I mean, bad dudes. Are you a bad enough dude to save the president? Yeah, bad dudes. Um, so. Hey, why don't we leave it off there? Uh, seems like a good time to stop as any. There's a nice little, uh, sort of zappy thing that we have to get past. Ooh, I wonder how we're gonna get past it. Ooh, see you next week, y'all.